hopefully. This will be easy. Yeah, but... So, I've got a few molds from eBay. So, I mainly was shopping for one certain one, and there was one from another seller which I put. And I have to just cut and cut, but there was one so I couldn't So, let's open this one up first, and hopefully, I'll be sure in the right angle of the camera because I can't actually see. You. But my phone is recording right now. Okay. Ah. So this one is a hunch mold. Am I even showing it properly? Okay, so I can put the sun's out. So this is a hot mold with some different shaped hearts. For custom sets. So if you're wondering, I'm kind of wanting to custom test. Get these carefully, just in case I can reuse them in the future. Because, you know, I say, there's not one more. Okay, so here's the cherry blossom or sapphire mold. Let's be pretty. Hopefully, these white imperfections will be fine. We're gonna have fun to get an exact image and see what we're trying to I can see it's a bit there. Let's see. So, mainly I bought this for resin. But technically, it is called a uh, chocolate or fondant mold, I guess. But those ones are cheaper. Obviously, I won't be able to use this for. Food after, but oh, here's the uh, hedgehog one. It's a lot smaller than I thought, but uh, you should see if it will be alright. Kind of like tree stump and hedgehogs. So, um, I mainly bought this for this. I went a bit extra, <laughs> but um, it's for my dad's birthday present, so hopefully. What I make won't be completely um, novice looking. But, um, yes. So, as you can tell, I want a bit extra. <laughs> so, this one is a very pretty rose one. So hopefully, since they are fun molds, it will still work with cousin paper. Should do. And this one, I got with the rose, rose molds. Oops. Um. And this one. Our leaves. 
I'm holding it up right in the right place. Baby. Oh, the phone's out again. That's nice. So this one's very, very detailed. I'm not going to to go with the rose. So hopefully when I demold it, I demold it in time that's still slightly flexible. I just put it in the heat then and kind of fold it then. Anyway, so this one was specifically for resin, though, I think. The other ones were fondant. But anyway, hopefully, it'll all turn out well. So, this is the end of this part. Um, I'll even record the opening of the other handheld mold that I bought uh, from a different seller. Um, well, I'm going to try and make some of these right now, see if I can, you know, film. Because I'm going to go through three of them in the next week, I think. So I'm going to hopefully make it nicely or something. Um, so yes. So stay tuned for the next part, which will be in a bit because, you know, movie magic. Okay, now I'm going to demold it, so keep the dust off while I was uh, moving it from the bathroom where I make it because of the window. I'm just like cord opening it on here like I did last time. So I just I specifically bought a little set of uh, five I think uh, microwave covers so dust won't get in them. Obviously I didn't stack them up like this when they were curing because otherwise they get indentations and stuff. But so we got these three things. So first up, probably didn't put enough in there, but I put the uh, leftover, so it's not quite level. I didn't overfill it or anything, so I could just probably use some UV to uh, round out this, maybe stick something there actually like a sticker of some sort like if it was a smaller sticker i could have put a little onion in there i could get one of my random goodies kind of thing of cutouts stick it in there and put some uv over top and there we have it so that's an idea so this one was um the leftover of the pink and the brown. So you can see. There's the brown. I don't know if you can really see it in this light. But, um, yes, so that's brown. And, um, you can sort of see the pink. Kind of did a, you know, kind of heart U shape. It's kind of very weird, kind of. I don't know, like a bubble or two of like pocketed, uh, I don't know, clear resin or something that's kind of in the middle. I mean, that's pretty cool. I wonder. Can we move this up to the right? I think you can see. I don't think you can really see it. But there's something there. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so that's these two. So next time I'll, I don't know, do the other hearts, see if it's any different. And make some other bits or something. So, like, I can drill a hole, put a little hook there, and use the key ring. Or I could do it in the middle. I'm sad, I don't know. I mean, or I could just make a few of these and just resin them together in like a sandwich to make a longer thing. I don't know. I haven't quite thought about it yet. I mean, or I could like make them stand across. 
and resin them together like this. Just make a long line. I don't know. Or like this to make a stand of some kind. Who knows? I don't. Anyway, so for the for the this, I hope it turns out very nicely. So let's do the small one first, I guess. That is pretty. So maybe some maybe brush on some uh, some resin, so it doesn't look so. Not shiny, matte. It's the word. But yes, because it's like considering pretty shiny and not shiny. So I have to do a touch up a bit to, uh, you know, cut off some unwanted parts. <laughs> so this one. This is very nice as well. Maybe a slight touch up here and there, but overall, very nice. And I'm not even in camera light. By the way, if I did not mend, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the first part. But these are, well, were, because they're not, they can't be used as that anymore, but they were fondant molds. So. Very nice. Like this one, I can, uh, I don't know, color in the, uh, the indented parts and like, I don't know, white or something. So those are very, then brush on some uh, UV or something. And cure that because, like, I kind of want it shiny, you know. And just to make sure none of the micro powder comes off. I don't think it is coming off, but to be on the safe side. So these are very nice. I do sakura or cherry blossoms are one of my favorite. And of course, roses are my favorite, but yes, for a second, I do like the look of uh, hibiscus as well. For some odd reason. It's very nice. But as you see, the little indents. I can't remember what part of the flower that was now. Um, we, uh, look, I'm doing like, um, Sosine, maybe? Or Espresso? Or Brienne, something? Or. I think it's the Stolen. Anyway, it's it's been a while since I have to do anything flower biology related. Like what I mean is let's see, let's get a white no no. Let's get a silver gel pen. I'll do it on the tiny. Oh, there you have it. Some silver gel pen. I guess pure that one. Oh. I don't know if I'll do it with these ones as well or not, but uh, anyway, now on to the last thing. This will be interesting. Um, so here. I didn't notice there were mushrooms. I didn't really take a good look. Anyway, here's the tree stump. Very nice, very nice. So this, like the base. Yeah. 
Here is this prickly little guy. And this bigger prickly little guy. Very prickly, actually. Huh. Oops. Yeah. The nose did not come out. Or there just wasn't where the mic was in there. This still has mic about one, I see. Put my resin. For next time, because the uh, noses, true, the noses on the end are missing. <laughs> so I just put like a little dark of the beauty resin in there and uh, fix it right up. So I'll just I have to go on there. Like that, or so. Well, if we use this as a base, we'll put some UV resin there and stick them on. Like that, or the little guy, the other way around. So I best get onto that because it is for my dad's birthday present, which will be on Sunday. <laughs> Obviously, way past from when I'm uploading this, but still, it turned out to be pretty nice. Need to fix the nose than that. I say it's, it's a good job. I mean, I could use this and put Hedgehog there. Oh. We can have one too. That would be a bit better than that. So I can start more tree stump space. A little. You know what? I think I might do that because brown on brown is a bit color. Um, camouflage is the word. And like, I can put. Little mini Sakura. In the corner there. And have this guy over like that. I'm not even showing you on the camera, am I? Anyway, something like that. Or so. And I can give him these two pieces. Like that. I think that's a good idea. Yes, I'll go. I'll do that then. So I need to make it before Saturday. I need to do final touch-ups. <laughs> so yeah, that's... That's it, really. Nothing else to add. Oh yes, the other thing that's supposed to arrive, well, if it arrives after 
and I'll just make it for this Christmas present instead, I guess. I don't know. It's more detailed, bigger. A hedgehog mold, which you'd probably see in the picture at the end or at the end of this clip. So I think I'll add it to this anyway since I bought it at the same time. But anyway, yes, so I guess on to the next part. I had to replace this clip with two uh, screenshots instead because for some reason it doesn't like editing portrait clips from my phone. I don't know why. So I did two screenshots of these because I forgot to actually take a picture of the mold itself. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll just put it in this place where I have the clip. So hopefully an error won't show up when it's putting exporting. You know. Anyway, so yeah, so this is the big hedgehog mold. And you'll see in the next clip. Okay. Now but let's see what it's gonna be and it should be interesting. And uh What's the last one? The, the proof's in the pudding. Hopefully it turns out okay. I mean, I just left it at like basically blue and it's like brown, like a powder swirl or something. So basically, here's this one. Slight brown tinge, but mainly blue. That's pretty good one. So that's that one. I have my food on my fingers, so it's probably from the mold, though, because it's pretty. I didn't actually really clean it. I probably suppose. And the nose. Did not come off. Oh, and the nose didn't come off. It didn't stay on. Hey, it's missing. Pretty sore. Oh well. Most likely the nose on this one is not. Yep. Why it has blue in there, I don't know. But... Okay. It's really unfortunate the nose does not stay on. Or just doesn't. I have no idea. I'll have to wash my hands after this. <laughs> anyway, from the uh, leftover Br brown. and shiny. That's the mica powder for you. Very glittery. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna give the other one to my brother. <clears throat> well, if I'm not sending it to him, I'm not gonna get some send the package yet. But um okay so those are nice. I mean, it's okay, but... Well, I'll think of something. I mean, I mean, I could put this here and make it a stain on here. Or have it like that. I don't know. Those are those. Just put them out of the way. Okay, you now for the main thing. Hopefully it was okay. Because technically I put in basically two different brands of resin because I ran out of one of them. But um, I should actually spray silicone mold release. So hopefully we'll be okay. So far, so looks okay. 
Link. Hmm. Um. So slight blue tinge on there, so I'll have to clean it a bit better. But um, I'm just putting it upside down, so don't get any dust or whatever. So it's the back. So like very nice shiny brown the bottom very nice brown so what does the face look like ah. lovely jubbly unfortunate there is a three or so definite bubbles there couple on the paws why um, well, the eyes are definitely blue, like they're supposed to be. Well, it kind of looks more gold in the camera, but it is definitely brown. Definitely brown. This spray looks very nice on the bottom, though. But not white. Huh. With some maybe drop of UV or something in there. Mm. Well, I'll do something to quickly patch it up. Well, we'll see. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, for more, give me a jump for notifications. Over and out.